Hey, this is Rat Lamb, and in this video trading, I'm going to share with you the Facebook ad setup and targeting strategies for local businesses. I get a lot of comment asking, Fred, how do I actually drive leads for real estate? How do I drive leads for cars or automotive? How do I actually advertise locally? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about it, and as a matter of fact, it is very different from any other videos or targeting strategies that I talked about because local businesses are very, very different. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how to do this with your business. Now, again, if you love any of my video training on my YouTube channel, and if you want more video training from me, make sure that you click the subscribe button right below click that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. And also, if you have any preference or if you want me to record a specific video training, let me know right in the comment box right below. And if you have any questions about my training, you can also ask as well. And last but not least, I know that I've been talking too much about this, but right in my video description, there's also links for free courses or discounted software. Make sure you check it out. So now that being said, let's talk about how to advertise as a local business to get leads or sales if you run either a mom and pop business or you're just serving the local community. So instead of me doing all these PowerPoint, I'm just gonna dive right in, right into Facebook and to walk you through the entire process and to share with you exactly what you need to do. So. I'm gonna go over to my screen right now, and obviously right inside Facebook, the first thing that you gotta do is click on the create ad, right? Now, again, this is simply a demo account of mine, just letting you know. So, one thing very important, if you are in the housing market, so if you are a real estate agent, you gotta make sure that you classify yourself as the special category. This is a must if you are going after real estate. Now, with the special category, it kind of remove a lot of the targeting features that you're not allowed to actually have. Things like age and gender, you cannot choose it. Because of all these craziness going on with Facebook and their, obviously, their um, policies and everything, so they actually make this change. So if you're in the housing market, you gotta make sure that you click on the special ad category. Now, in this case, we're just gonna use real estate as an example. We're gonna go after the housing, and next, you choose the objective. Now, when you're choosing the objective, there are really just two that you should focus on. One is lead generation. Now, if you want a full tutorial on how to run a Facebook lead ad, I have it right in my YouTube channel that you can actually watch and follow along to simply build your very own lead gen campaign. In this case, we are also conversion. If you have a landing page, if you have a programmer, then obviously you can choose other, uh, choose conversion. But in this case, I'm just gonna go with lead generation right now because I have a full tutorial on how to do it. We'll keep it simple, okay? So we'll go after lead generation and we'll click on campaign budget optimization. Now, you can actually put in whatever budget you want. I would encourage you to actually start with at least $20. That's just enough to actually just get started. Five will be still okay, but you're not gonna get data as fast and as quickly as $20. Now, if you are like, I want to actually just start getting more leads, start getting more sale, then you can actually go as high as 100 bucks. So it's really your preference. Now I'm gonna click on continue. You simply choose your Facebook page, all right? And make sure that if you're running lead ads, is that you gotta accept the terms. Now, when you scroll down over here, you can actually see that there is not a lot of things that you can actually do based on being a real estate agent and the special category. So the age and gender, you cannot do anything about it. The only thing that you can do is locations and detailed targeting. So when it comes to locations, what you want to do is you want to make sure, let's say that I'm just gonna randomly uh, choose a place uh, on Google uh, maybe a, I don't know, um, I'm just gonna look for like a mansion in LA. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find an address for that. I'm just gonna go to, 
use this as an example. Okay, so I'm going to use this as an example. One, two, five, five, four, Preston Way. So if you're in a local business or you're in real estate, in this example, we're doing real estate, all you got to do is copy this $375 million home that we're trying to sell, and you paste it right in here. You go after the address, and you want to first start with a 15 to 20 mile radius. So only these people around the area will see. Now, you would know your market a lot more than I do. Usually, I would go with 15 or as high as 25. That is the max that I would actually go, as high as 25. Because obviously, there may be people that just want to move into the neighborhood that was basically a little bit far. So I put around 15 to 25 mile radius. So again, it depends on what your ultimate outcome is, and you got to know your market well enough. But what you want to do, again, is just put the address of your store or simply of your house that you wanted to sell and put in a radius mile right in here. And you also want to go after everyone in this location rather than who live in this location. You want to look at everyone in this location because there may be people that are just traveling outside of LA. Maybe they're from, I would say, maybe they're from Toronto or they're from Vancouver, Canada, and they want to move to LA, and they actually got a hotel at LA to actually look at the areas. That's why you want to go after everyone in this location. Then, the targeting detail option is going to be very different from what you do before. When we're talking about digital products, or Shopify, or dropshipping, or anything else, we want to go after one keyword at the same time, right? One keyword, one ad group. But when it comes to local businesses, you want to actually shove in as much keyword as possible that is related to what you are trying to sell. So if we're trying to actually sell this home, we would actually go after people maybe into uh, Zillio, right? And people that are into homes.com, house hunting, first time buyer, real estate, or first uh, time buyer home grant. So you want to basically add in anything and everything that is related, okay, to what you are trying to obviously sell. Let's say that if you're in the automotive dealership business and you, let's say that you run for Mercedes-Benz, then you want to basically put in all the targeting of Mercedes-Benz, all the models of Mercedes-Benz in the detail targeting to actually stack this up. That's what you want it to do, all right? Then other words, the next thing that I would do is making sure that we only go after the news feed. So Instagram Explore, we don't want that. We don't want to go after stories. We don't want to go after the in-stream, okay? No article. And we are primarily just going after the feed of Facebook and Instagram, both on mobile and on desktop, okay? That's what you want to go after. And then obviously just continue and write your ad, okay? So again, when it comes to writing your ad, you gotta make sure that you give an offer right on the ad. So for a real estate, let's say that you can say that you are hosting an open house and anyone that comes to the open house get a $10 gift certificate, right? That is going to be an enticing offer to actually convince the person to actually go to your open house. So you remember, in any advertising, even if it's a local business, you gotta put in an enticing offer. Let's say that if you are in the automotive business, you can actually say that you can offer the lowest lease rate, the lowest finance rate, and cash back on delivery, right? So those are enticing offers to attract the person to actually opt in to give you their contact information so that you can actually contact them and to actually close the sale from there. But in a nutshell, when it comes to targeting, these are the things that you gotta be aware of. Now again, like I said, the most important part is the detailed targeting, okay? It is not like drop shipping or simply email business, affiliate marketing, where you should just put in one targeting at a time. You wanna stack your detailed targeting, all right? So these are the top quick strategies for you when it comes to running your 
local business if you want more leads or if you want more sale. Now, if you want a full tutorial on how to create a lead ad on Facebook right on my YouTube channel, there's a link that you can, or there's a video I should say, that you can actually watch and it shows you step by step on a, how to set up your Facebook lead ad. Other than that, if you have any questions, let me know right in the comment box right below. Please click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video training, you're gonna get notified right away. Other than that, make sure that you start watching my other videos and I look forward in 2020 with every single one of you.